I, I, um, I took the foam out, uh, this car, it's sweating in here, it's cold and it's hot outdoors, anyway, I unhooked the fenders and pulled that foam out, I'm gonna leave it just open, um, the little bit, uh, like, way, way down the road when I, um, put it on the road, if that day ever comes, I might, by then, figure out what I could put in there, but right now, there's nothing in there, it's, it's open, and, um, I pulled it out. I don't know. See, you can see right there. It, it's open. Like, uh, literally open right up. Like, but anyway, it's, um, well, there's no foam in there. And uh, I put little spacers in behind here to get this absolutely level. And I straightened out my chrome a little bit and got that line going. I didn't actually work on the car too much. I worked on it a little bit this morning, but I got the the gaps are kind of presentable. Here, this bulges up, but I, I by the time I'm done, I'll have that maybe looking a little better. And the same thing over here. I got the, the foam is out, and I had to put a spacer here because I had, after I put the the foam out that little bit of cushion meant, meant the fender went in too far so i had to put a little spacer in behind it but anyway i got the it lines up really really nice and in here we got uh the same thing it's she's wide open right into the inner fender cavity so it, it may be some black soft uh rubber seal might be able to be manipulated into there might work about the best but anyway it, um very very pleased i guess my next uh chore on the car will be the door as you can see, it's um, fairly quite rough shape. Yeah, just a little bit bad right there and on the corner. But anyway, I'll, I'll weld that up in that corner down there, of course. But anyway, I, I weld that up and paint it a little bit and uh, grind off some rust here and I had to weld a pipe or I had to fix this flange right here is pretty bad but um that and the trunk lid uh, a couple little dents and a lot of rust underneath but anyway it's um just thought I'd make a bit of a video uh, mostly to tell people that I'm still looking for some idea to put in there as an insulator, but the foam is out. Uh, I don't think the foam was a good idea, but it's out, it's not there anymore. And I got my tractor started and drove it down a little earlier and had to fix the, the chain, the rubber bands all cracked. So I had to put new rubber on it and pull this back into shape. But I got this thing going after a while it didn't have these uh i the ignition wire off the key switch is taken off key switch hooked up to one of these anyway i had to take the little cap off and put uh, some lube in it and worked it back and forth and i got contact after a while and then it fired right up and i drove it down so it's it's raining out and it's quite warm and things are a little bit sweating in here but the ferrari's nice and dry it's in a shop that's a little better it's, there's not enough snow to get that thing out just yet but but soon but anyway um just to let people just to give you an idea of how important it is to paint on rust or clean up things uh this thing she's not really in that good a shape underneath like um i got a fair fair amount of uh 
You can't really see too much of it right here, but um, she's uh, pl pl plenty rough. Maybe, I don't know if I can get anywhere here. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, you can see a little bit of the holes in the wheel well. I um, scraped all the dirt out of the front of the sill when I welded up the front of the sill. I kind of brushed and scraped out. the. At the time, it was like really cold, so I had to break the rust or the dirt out with like a pry bar up back and forth. And then I took a broom, a little sweep broom, and swept it all out. So I'm half halfway back. It's clean. And now when I do the back, I'll have to reach up in and pull the dirt back and then I'm going to stick the vacuum cleaner shop vac up it to suck up any any dirt that I miss and then after I get this welded in I'll drill holes and then fill then spray the heavy duty undercoating inside it so that should uh be kind of uh good for it but um anyway it's like pretty pretty exciting But I'll be back to work on it uh, pretty soon. The laser sitting over at my mom's in the garage, it was sweaty. So I had to go over and I started it up and ran it back and forth to kind of scrape the brakes. And um, it's bad when cars sweat when they're sitting in a garage. But if you can start them up and warm up the motor, then there's a chance that you're saving the motor because... I believe if you let them sweat, the valves get rusty. And then when it dries, um, it's not good for the seats and the valves and the rings and stuff. So I, whenever a car sweats, I always try to throw a battery in it and start it up and run it back and forth a little tiny bit. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd make a bit of a video to show that uh, everything's fine and hope everybody else is doing fine. Um, see you later. Bye.